on a mountaintop, mm -hmm. on a pinnacle. I'm standing on top of it. I'm looking down on a mountain range. Describe this mountain range for me. It's vast. Mm -hmm. I'm above the cloud line. It's beautiful. Tell me more about this mountain. What does it look like? Looks like it's maybe a very, very high mountain. Maybe Mount Everest? Mm-hmm. Like Does this mountain have snow on it? Yes. Mm-hmm. And as you look out, can you feel that you have a body in this place? Not a traditional body. Mm-hmm. So, I'd like for you to reflect on your own body and tell me what it looks like. It's like a light body. A light body. Mm-hmm. Does it have a gender? I think it's me. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what you're doing on that mountain. I'm resting. I'm just standing on this peak. Mm-hmm. Just looking out. Enjoying it. What do you notice on this mountain? What's your favorite thing about this mountain? I sense Gaia. I sense her beauty. Connect with Gaia. Connect to see how you can help Gaia today. Is growing. Mm -hmm. Guy is growing. Tell me more. She's evolving. She's becoming something else. Tell me about this change. She's becoming herself. Mm-hmm. Tell me what Gaia actually is. Gaia is alive. She's a being. What does she tell you? I'll connect with her. Mm-hmm. Connect with her and see what she tells you today. She wants to evolve. She's looking forward to it. She, even though there's parts of her that are hurt, she's happy. She's joyful. <laughs> that can't be taken away from her. Mm -hmm. Who's trying to take that from her? doesn't matter anymore. She's waking up. She's evolving. She's turning into herself, a being. And she knows it. Mm -hmm. And she's happy. What do you feel from Gaia? Steve, what stage of development is she at right now? She feels like she's coming down. It feels like she's she has momentum and she's coming down a hill. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing that can stop it. Mm -hmm. It's all... It feels good to her to be who she is, to be to evolve. Mm -hmm. And what relationship do you have with Gaia? I enjoy her. I know her. <laughs> I 
Let's find out how you know Gaia. Let's go back in time and let's see what relationship you had with her. Close that scene and let's go back in time to see how you know Gaia. I see her young. Mm -hmm. And I love her. She, I can feel her. She's, um, she's like a, she has a, an essence, like a personality. What we see when we interact with another being, we sense them. She's like that as well. She's, she's like quirky and beautiful and happy. Mm -hmm. And she has a lot of energy. She's very powerful. What does she do with that energy? It is who she is. Mm -hmm. it is. It is just being. And how are you related to Gaia? How do you work with her or I play have, with her? I have witnessed her. I have I've been at her oceans. I enjoy her. I, I watch her. I feel like I'm a being. Mm -hmm. Like, um, kind of like my form now. I come to her and enjoy her and spend time with her and, and commune with her. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so. We are so proud of her. <laughs> We're so proud of her. Tell me who we are. What kind of a being are you? Do you oversee Gaia? I watch over her. Mm -hmm. I watch her. I don't need to watch over her. I watch her. Mm -hmm. There's no overing over her. She's, she's, she's magnificent. Mm -hmm. And she was young a long time ago, but now she's coming into her own. So explain to me what Gaia will be doing as she evolves. What are the changes that you see happening to her as she evolves? She is spiritually maturing. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I she is coming to know herself. Mm -hmm. She is coming to own her power, own who she is. It's similar to her beings on her surface. They too are coming to know themselves, coming to know who they are, coming to own their power. It's a reflection. The awakening on Gaia is a reflection of the awakening that each person makes. Mm -hmm. It's a connection we all share. So we're all connected to what's happening. As Gaia matures, we all mature spiritually too? It's one and the same. Mm -hmm. It's not one or one before the other. Or we are one. We are. And we are coming to know this. So what happens next? What's our next step? Connection. Connection with each other. Connection with what we see. What we sense. We will become connected. In a way that is not intellectual. In a way that is known.
and there are people working for this. It's not, it's work. It's, um, it's purposeful. What kind of work are we talking about? Are we talking about energetic work? It's energy and the material world also are connected. Some people do energy work through the material world. Some people do energy work knowing it is energy work and do it directly. Mm -hmm. But it is all the same. How does Marie do energy work to help Gaia? Marie focuses on Gaia. We use Marie. We co. We co. We're co-workers. Mm -hmm. We we do something together with Marie. She knows this. Mm -hmm. She enjoys this. But she doesn't quite know what she's doing. This is not her normal no. way of working. The normal way of working is slowly going to stop being relevant. Mm -hmm. Priorities will change. She sees this, but she questions it because of programming, of enculturation, of beliefs that she's been taught to believe. Is that why she's not working right now? There's different reasons why she's not working right now, but attention is necessary. Mm -hmm. She's one of many, many people focusing. Focusing. The focusing. I feel like there's a message. Mm -hmm. Others. <sighs> what message is there? The focusing is relevant. The focusing is focus is not. People do not understand what focus is. Can you explain what focus is, please? Focus is pure creation. Mm -hmm. Focus is, it is your God, your Godness, it is, um, it is your expression, it is your, the choice of focus is your will. The focus, the act of focusing is sacred. It is your, it is your power, it is the power, it is consciousness. And there's, there in the past has been <clears throat> there's been a usurping of people's focus. Is this intentional? Yes, it's intentional. It was intentional. But people are some some people have have gained domain over their focus and more people are doing so and that creates a cascading effect. Because the totality of our focus is connected to Gaia's focus. We are all one. Owning our focus is our power, and the more we do it, the more people that do it, and that focus on love, that focus on connection, that focus on joy. This is so powerful. This is so powerful. 
and it's a choice. It's a simple choice. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. But there is a, there is this the focus on the negative is addicting and we are growing. We are learning. We are choosing. This is part of becoming godlike. This is part of owning who we are. How is Marie going to be focusing to help Gaia? Gaia is not a victim. She does not. It is not that she needs help. Marie doesn't understand this. She sometimes feels Gaia's pain or her hurt or something, and that's the wrong focus. Hmm. That means you're focusing on that. On the negative of the neediness. You're focusing on Gaia's pain, okay. on her hurt. So what should we be focusing it's on? It's celebration. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration now. It is only celebration now. Where there's so many of us that watch that are celebrating. It is. It is. There's still work to be done for sure, but. It is downhill now. Mm -hmm. Now many people talk about the earth changes, the shift, the event, like something is going to happen with Gaia. Can you enlighten me on that? No, oh, this is a this and this is, goes back to focus. Mm -hmm. You can choose, you know, you should focus on how you want to see Gaia. I can't reiterate it enough. If you want to choose to focus on convulsions of Gaia or some kind of cataclysmic event, you are helping to create that mm -hmm. period. There's no, there's no gray here. Mm -hmm. You are contributing to that. So for us to, to focus, to intend, set our intention. It's really to see Gaia the way we want to see it. It's to see how you want to be with Gaia. Mm -hmm. It's to see. And it's not necessarily in the grand scale of things. It's more importantly, more importantly, it's to see the small things. The blades of grass. To see around you. Mm -hmm. To, to, and this may be certain parts of the world on Gaia may be hard to see this. But this is your, this is your godlike quality. You can choose to see the beauty of Gaia. You can choose to see her health, her evolving, her where she is doing well, where she is where she is celebrating, where people are coming together and changing and so it's it's not even about change anymore. It is about celebration. Mm -hmm. The focus can now be on the celebration and the cel and in doing so you bring it closer. It's already here. It's already in the non-physical sense. Mm -hmm. We are already celebrating. Now it is a matter of focusing on that. Mm -hmm. And you will bring it to her, to the physical world. She's already celebrating. The physical world is just the energetic field condensed. It's a time. It's as if you put something out and it dries. It's like a time experience. Mm -hmm. The physical world is just the energetic world coalesced. Well, what we create, is it similar to our own bodies where 
Our physical bodies are the manifestations of our etheric body. Whatever we imagine would be the template of our body. Is this happening with Gaia too, that whatever we focus on, she's already in energy form, celebrating and manifesting? Could that be something like that? Can you restate that? <clears throat> well, our physical bodies first have to become what it, they are from our etheric body. Our etheric body is our template for the physical body. Yes. And when you say that Gaia is already celebrating that in the non-physical world, it's almost to me like... She has an etheric body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this perhaps the new earth that people talk about? Yes. That yes. it's already created? Yes. Yes. It has been stated that way. Mm -hmm. But it has become... People have created associations with it. And the new earth... It is not a new earth. It is her. Mm -hmm. It is... This is a... Uh, there is a beingness that is hard to be... Tr that becomes translated into human language and placed within time. We experience beingness, the timelessness of beingness, all the time. It is the present moment. It is why meditation is being recommended, is why people are meditating more, because beingness is timeless. Mm -hmm. And the way, by focusing on the present moment, you know that. Mm -hmm. You don't experience it. Mm -hmm. You don't need to experience it because you are it. Right. And Gaia is like that. Yes, Gaia, we, we are templates, mm -hmm. we reflect, we under, there's a level of understanding that, there's a level of understanding of this process that we know, and it is in communicating it that we can sometimes get lost, mm -hmm. but within we know, and that is being explored now. Are there any special events or catalysts that are happening to expand Gaia's evolution? Or the evolution of mankind? It is not so much as Humans look at history where events catalyze other events. Mm -hmm. It is that we are opening our eyes to what has always been. We are we are waking up mm -hmm. to what has always been, to what we've always been. So it's not, it's not events, Gaia is, the awakening of Gaia and her people are no, is not an event-driven phenomena. Mm -hmm. It is, it is more of a consciousness, and it's not consciousness in the sense that you have to attain a different state of consciousness. It's simply, the simplicity of it is what is, is what causes the problem. Mm -hmm. You simply, you simply are it. You are, it. and that, that is what's being. That is what's being. That is what's being shared. Mm -hmm. There's no action that needs to be taken. There's no energy work that needs to be done. Even though 
we do do energy work. It's not necessary. It's, it's a little complicated to express. There's a maybe, there's an, maybe it would be better to explain it as of the metaphor of the onion skin. It's, it's all, action is not necessary, but we take action because we, it's who we are. It's very complicated. It's, it's not, I don't feel like it's being expressed well. Mm -hmm. Well, that seems to be the topic of the day is the big event, something happening, something supernatural. Like I said, that is your choosing. Mm -hmm. If you wish to focus on that, you can experience that. Mm -hmm. And that is not to be taken lightly. You're f there is fear. How can we stop that fear? Is to own your power. The f power of focus. It is everything. I cannot state that enough. It is... What is the difference between focus and intention for you? Focus is more of, of a less active act. Mm -hmm. Intention brings energy. It is creative. It is part of focus. However, we can intend things out of fear. We can intend things out of love. It is more of a... It is more of a human... It's something that humans can do to create in their physical world mm -hmm. is intention. Yes. Focus. It's simply... It would be as though you choose to go out your day and you decide just to focus on things that will bring you joy. You can intend to have that focus and that plays out in the human scale of time and objects and, and movement through space. But focus is how we, it is more of how we, we engage in mm -hmm. the non-physical world. Okay. It is the primacy of your power. It is choice. It is, it is an act. It is choice. It's how we travel. Mm -hmm. It's how we do anything here is through focus. Mm -hmm. It's just what you choose to focus on. So did Marie focus on being on Earth at this time for a reason? I wanted to be on Earth at this time. Mm -hmm. This is an exciting time. Yeah, everyone wants to be on Earth at this time. Tell me about that. Well, this is this is where the fireworks are. It's um, Marie, Marie struggled. Marie struggles. But I am helping her with that. Why did Marie choose to have such a challenging beginning? I can only, I will speak for why I chose mm -hmm. that beginning life. Mm -hmm. I like challenge. Marie, though, has suffered a lot. Mm -hmm. That was very challenging. She 
She can rest now, but she doesn't want to rest. It's what's interesting about <laughs> humans is um, they're much more resilient than they think they are. They like to think of themselves as victims, as like suffering and all this stuff, which is fine. It's their choosing. They can experience experience that in the sense that they can choose to focus on that. I like the challenging life because there's much growth in that choosing. Mm -hmm. There is phenomenal growth potential here on Earth. There is growth potential in a way that humans don't appreciate. It is not a matter of getting over abusive parents and the ego personality. Um, we use the ego personality to grow. The ego personality can get a little bruised, mm -hmm. and but there is growth for the ego personality as well. But it is resilient. It is me. It is. It is not. It is past me. It is connected to much higher realms. But the ego's focus is very narrow, mm -hmm. and this gives the illusion of weakness. But this is changing as well. This is part of the change. This is. The perspective is getting higher, much like if you were to go up in elevation, you get a higher perspective. Our consciousness is on Earth, including Gaia. That's what the awakening is. It is a higher point of perception, of, um, of understanding. It's not just higher in the sense of the higher realms. It, it's it equates to, you see that you are more than a human. Mm -hmm. You are connected to everything. But we're dealing right now with a human, Marie. Yes. Who struggles yes. with feelings of failure since she was very young. Yes. And she wants to be able to heal that perspective. How can we do that today? How would you like to tell her about that? She's a perfectionist. <laughs> These are funny little conundrums and little... I will... I will address this. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. I see that being on Earth is, at this moment, it feels confusing. There's a lot of conflicting energies. There is a lot of conflicting energies on the surface now. What's causing that? I think there are a lot of I've given you a perspective of what we see, Gaia, but now I can give you a perspective of what's happening on the ground. Mm -hmm. There is a, a fight. Mm -hmm. There's, we are in the middle of a battle. The battle's already won, but the battle is going on right now. There's a lot of energy, and it feels wrong to be here, and feels doesn't feel good mm -hmm. people want to leave people yes they're checking out mm -hmm. um, I would say to Marie that she is strong you've been told you are something you are not this battle is once you this battle 
is on the scale of ants. And I do not mean that from my perspective, from the higher perspective. I mean that from the perspective of each human. You are strong. The human is incredibly strong. It is difficult. We see that. But it would not be difficult from the perspective of your true strength of who you are, and this is not even incorporating your higher self, this is just you, your ego self. Feeling strong is a decision one can make. Feeling, bringing light in, being strong, this is a perspective that we recommend and the focus, focus on the joy, focus on the little things. This is so much more powerful. The little things, the scale, the scales are reversed. You've been taught to think that the news represents the earth and what's happening. And that is not, that is not necessarily correct. It is happening on certain parts of your world, but that does not even come close to the dynamic, to the dynamic narratives that are happening all through your world, and most of them are positive. Most of them are beautiful. Families are coming together. People are connecting. People are improving their lives. It's the focus on the media gives a narrative that is, that is not more real than what is happening in your family. So I say that it is a reverse. What's happening in your family? What's happening in your, in your garden? What's happening in your neighborhood? These, this is where the focus, that's where the true that, that's where the true experience is. That's where the truth is. You see, and when one focuses on that, you see interactions between people getting lighter and, and more loving. And you see the human desire for understanding each other. And you see the human strength on that level. And if you would just focus on that, you would know your strength, your beauty, your connection to the earth. So worrying about the Amazon burning, this is not relevant to you. You can make a difference in your yard. Mm -hmm. You can make a difference. And in the way that the earth holographically works, is that what you do to the yard is just as effective as, you know, putting a country's resources into saving the rainforest. It is the same. This is a holographic experience. So how can Marie feel joy all the time now. Is there something that has to be rewired or will those words alone help her? There is a, for her it's, she equates joy with physical feelings. Mm. These are not the same. There are people that are in pain all the time that feel joy. She needs to own her physical feelings and choose joy. Okay. And this, these deep feelings of failure? This is a complex, a complex of feelings. Mm -hmm. Failure has been taught. You have been taught that you that failure is an option. 
that's that's kind of ridiculous you it is about being failure is is part of this strange culture enculturation of judgments and being good and being bad it, the, these are all Ill, not relevant okay well she's always trying to be perfect in every way her perfection she equates with being safe ah. and that's to do with the trauma mm -hmm. when she was young she feels that she is not safe or that the world is not safe and if she were perfect she would be safe this is part of her growth and she has done so much in this area and it's just little left that she needs to do and she knows how to do it very good very good so she'll be addressing that herself yes very good she says that she feels called to do energy work on the earth, specifically during certain times. Wants to know why she feels compelled to do this. And is she really doing anything? Yes, we, we kind of briefly talked on this. Mm -hmm. She, we are co-doing this together. Mm -hmm. This is why it's exciting to be on earth right now because this can be done there is great energy coming there is great great energy coming where is it coming from To talk about it in terms, it's hard to explain in terms of a spatial sense mm -hmm. or a time sense. In a sense, it was always here. In a sense, it is a wave coming. It is, as people progress, these labels can be confusing, so I will not address it in that way. Mm -hmm. There is great energy here at this moment, and it is fun to work with. So what is she doing with it? She and I are having fun. We are... Um, we are doing a, a sort of dan dance, an energetic dance, and in the dance, we move the energies in, rith in, in a rhythmic form that assists. And I say that carefully because, as I said before, Gaia doesn't need assistance. Mm -hmm. But there's assistance given. It is confusing, like I said, as we elevate ourselves into higher consciousnesses it is inappropriate to see Gaia as suffering or as a victim that is in inappropriate we are not helping in the sense of helping somebody that's sick that is that is not correct that is not the correct way of seeing it we are in we are dancing with Gaia mm -hmm. and this the this, the, the denser energies as we dance with guys, all of us, it is not just Marie, as all of us dance with Gaia. We rhythmically, I don't want to use the word clean because that denotes its opposite and that is inappropriate as well, but we, we catalyze, we crystallize, we, we organize, not organize, we, um, we are working with her energy. We enjoy it. It is why we're here, it's why people want to be here. It's, mm -hmm. it's exciting to be here now. When she does this with you, she gets very, very exhausted afterwards. Is she channeling this energy through her? 
So what can she do to prepare her body so that she doesn't become so exhausted? She's fine. She, yeah. <laughs> humans, you know, humans have this interesting way of creating drama. Yeah. It's part of this strange narrative that they need to have a story and they need to have, she's healthy, she's, um, she does feel tired, I shouldn't be dismissive. Let me focus on that. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what adjustment she needs so that she doesn't get tired. She should do things that she feels energetic in, which she's just started, like exercising regularly. Mm -hmm. Things that help symbolize strength. This is the moment for humans to feel strong. Mm -hmm. This is not the moment for humans to feel weak. This is this is this is part of the celebration. Is is knowing our strength, our individual strength, and that includes physical. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's to in, in a symbolic way to do things uh, that she thinks make her strong, which is for her exercising mm -hmm. and um, feeling strong, walking in a way that. Is perceived that she perceives as strong moving her body mm. feeling like she has energy and although she is tired after these energetic workings, she has the ability to rest right now we have allowed that to happen mm -hmm. and she enjoys it she has a sense of purpose with it and we enjoy it and she <laughs> needs to stop um, creating these narratives like this drama. It's not, mm -hmm. there's no drama. This, it's fun. She, I think she has, I think a lot of her and other people have an aversion to, to fun uh -huh. or, or to guilt about having fun. Mm -hmm. And that needs to change. We are here. Gaia, the best thing you can do for Gaia is to have fun. That energy is so pure and so beautiful. And, and if we could free ourselves to have fun, we could change things so rapidly. When we're having fun, is that a creative energy? Fun is a cleansing energy. Ah. Fun is... is uh, there's this idea that adults shouldn't have fun, and that is, that's the opposite. I think as you get older, it would be wiser to have more fun than you did as a child. Mm -hmm. That is wisdom, and it is why as you get older, you realize this, and things don't mean as things that you thought were important aren't, and you try to have more fun in your life should have fun all the time. It's so cleansing. It is such a beautiful energy. It is a very powerful energy. The creative energy, though, is focus. Okay. And in the material world, intention. Mm, very good. Thank you. What's holding her now in place where she cannot move in her life and career? There is something approaching. There's something approaching. In what way? I will try to bring this out. Thank you. There's a readying that needs to be done. There's something approaching. How it plays out physically, I am not sure. But there is something large approaching. Is this what I was asking about before? 
how it plays out will depend on people's focus. This is a non-physical event that is approaching. And it is approaching soon. It's not something to be anxious about. Mm-hmm. It is something to be excited about. It is something that, if one is ready, should be re- should be awaiting it with open arms. However, it will cause confusion. There will be confusion. That I can foresee as a physical manifestation, this confusion. But there is enough people now that will be welcoming this with open arms. That is, that is the appropriate way to take it in. But it will, will be large and, and otherworldly. Mm-hmm. It will be a surprise. It'll, it'll do many things, but it will be a, a much needed shock. Not mm-hmm. shock in a negative sense, but shock when you see something really wonderful, unexpected. When you, when you, and in that moment, you have an experience that is very unique. We have small ones, like you, people, humans experience this on a small basis throughout their lives. Mm-hmm. Um, but what is coming will be a communal experience. And this will be part of the shockingness of it and lead some to confusion. Those that see themselves as separate see themselves in their egoic worlds, see themselves and lead a a selfish kind of existence, they'll be shocked to find out that they are more than what they thought they were. And this can be confusing to some and and might lead to some people suffer, suffering and confusion, but there is enough people on this planet now that have their arms wide open. Mm-hmm. This. Is this some type of um, like subconscious awakening within, knowing who you are? Knowing that we are all one? Though there will be an outside not in the physical sense, but in the internal world, there will be an outside experience within. The you within is a closed, unfortunately, usually perceived as a closed system. Mm-hmm. That is the internal experience. What is approaching is an exterior experience, but experienced within, and this is a spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. So within you, you will connect, you will experience. You know, if I were to say you, you were to experience your higher self, or you were to experience angelic, an, an angel within, or these are just these, these do not suffice for what will be coming. It, it will be a, it will be as though a light has been turned on in your interior world. It will be an outside experience within. And for many people, that will be troubling. Mm. They, they do not connect, they do not believe that the interior world is connected to, to higher, not higher realms is not inappropriate, but other source. Mm -hmm. Now you said it's coming soon. How soon are we talking about? Soon could be tomorrow, 
next week, next month, next year? Does that depend on anything? Time is a very interesting thing. A, a good way to see it, although this is not the correct way, but a helpful way to see it is that it will occur at different times for different people, but that is not the case because it will occur at all at once for everybody. Mm -hmm. But it is it it is easier to understand in that way because time is not something that is a solid it is not it is not seconds on a clock that is ticking. Mm -hmm. It will arrive for everyone and everything and for Gaia at the same time. However, in a way that humans don't understand, your time will be sped up or slowed down in order to meet it at a time in which your higher self is working with you so that you can receive it in the way that's most appropriate. Hmm. Every, everybody will be as ready as they can be when it occurs and it will be juicy and exciting and it's something to not be afraid fear is, is the wrong it is, it is something to it is why you're here it is why everybody's here on this planet at this time at this time mm -hmm. we all chose to be here at this time yes it's I mean it there it <laughs> Everybody has the golden ticket that's here. It's, mm. um, it's very special that everybody's here. Even people that are checked out, they think that they're checked out. People that might be on drugs, suffering, they're not checked out. They may be checked out of their feelings, but there's diff a human body is a composite of many different things. A soul, the soul is there's so many things happen. It is so dynamic that even though a person may be checked out because they don't want to feel their feelings, doesn't mean that they're checked out. They are definitely here serving a purpose, mm -hmm. doing, a, doing something meaningful. What about those people that are leaving the earth in droves, it seems? There seems to be a lot of deaths of even people that are famous? It's not, there is not more or less deaths at mm. this moment. Mm. If anything, we are all waiting for this moment. It is not something that will be negative. Okay. Are these new children here for a purpose at this time? Are they here to help with this special event? There's no help needed for this special no. event, but they are here because they will be able to experience it kind of as though they have front row seats, mm. as though they, this is their favorite band and they knew this and they bought the tickets and they're sitting in the front row seats. Their bodies are in sync with what will happen. Their minds are in sync. It's, it's something that they will, they will be able to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Will this affect our DNA at all? The actual makeup of our physical body. Your DNA has been changing DNA I don't know if if the focus on actual DNA is relevant mm -hmm. but the body has been preparing not just for this event this event is is just part of many different things that are happening at this time that are wait that are connected to Gaia awakening the body is changing due to the higher frequencies and to the additional en energies coming in for sure and has been changing it is why people feel tired it is why they 
need more rest. It is why they're changing their diets. The body complex has been stressed, not in a way that is bad. It's been stressed in a way that is getting it ready for getting ready for a different way of living, which will not happen all at once. This other, the thing that is, the thing that is approaching will not lead to instant change. It will literally just be a light turning on within. Mm -hmm. There is still, for that change in which the body is assimilating itself to, will take time, and time is allowed so that the body can continue, can, can continue to assimi assimilate for this greater awakening that is happening. Okay. How can Marie do something meaningful with people? She wants to connect. Um, how can she get this type of work? Right now she's been not working for a while. Marie... Marie has felt an aversion to people. She can, she's very, she can feel other people's feelings and mm. in the past she has confused other people's feelings for her own feelings, which has led to very, um, which has led to interactions that have been confusing. Hmm. She's learning this now. She brings it. What is interesting is she has brought questions mm -hmm. <laughs> to which she knows a lot of the answers to mm -hmm. because they are what she's focusing on now. Mm -hmm. She. That is another thing that is changing is that any questions that we have, we have access to the answers to always, but we are realizing it. She's on this journey to reconnect to people now because she has chosen it. She, she is so powerful the minute that she is wanting to find connections with people. She just needs to focus on it. Focus on the connections that she has. She has beautiful connections with many people. Mm -hmm. And she just needs to see the flowers in her garden and start watering them and planting new ones and it's a very simple and beautiful process what you want more of in your life you notice what you have and then you water them and it will grow so we just have to focus on what it is that we have in our mind and just go for it as an example with her wanting more connections mm -hmm. with people. It is a vibration. So find people. Marie should find people that she feels the connection she wants with. Hmm. Notice it. Put a focus on it. And what that does is it creates it you it's not that she resonates with it because it is it is within her. She's already resonating it. But you are focusing on that frequency. And by doing so, you will receive more of it. Mm -hmm. So she also wants more money. Mm -hmm. She should just focus on the fact, on the money that she does have. And f when she does so, feel wealthy, feel abundant, feel the feelings that she wants to feel. And what that does is it, you know, the way the human down on this, the denser realms, it's, it's a, it's an easy equation, but there's, it can get, it can get very difficult because of beliefs and because of past experiences. Um, all it, the physical realm is simply a biofeedback mechanism. Mm -hmm. You will receive what you focus on. It is as long as you want to receive it, 
in many cases you will receive if you focus on something you don't want you will also receive it because it's part of the bio it is a biofeedback mechanism um, isn't that what we call the law of attraction yes mm -hmm. um, and in doing so in receiving what you uh, what what you've put out in frequency wise the biofeedback me mechanism allows you to choose whether or not you want more of it or less of it or something else. Mm -hmm. It's it's constantly showing you what it is you're putting out. However, time is kind of screws with Marie in particular. She's so impatient. She, um, but it's about just. I mean, as time goes on, you you each person. As they're familiar with this material, they see how it works. Mm -hmm. You start learning how to ride the bike, and you start right. like figuring it out. We would recommend to Marie and where she's at is just to trust what you believe. You need to take that, in her case, the leap of trust. Even though we're not sure why it's a leap, because it's to her it feels like a leap. But she should take it. It's exciting to leap and, and to trust. And um, so I need to focus on getting Airbnbs around the world. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So um, she says that she gets a lot of confused feelings. Um, she seems to attract people's feelings as her own. What's going on there? That was just a confusion. She, mm -hmm. a lot of people that are empathic, or mm -hmm. what is termed as empathic yes. here, it, there's different terms for it. Shaman, uh, there's many different terms depending on the culture, but in what she understands is empathic. What people don't understand, what the empaths slowly come to realize is that a lot of their feelings aren't their feelings. So if they're in a social situation and they feel stressed or scared mm -hmm. uh, they're just feeling other people's feelings they're not necessarily feeling stressed and scared and this can cause uh, an empath to think oh I must be insecure because I'm feeling scared and mm -hmm. insecure when in fact it's not their feelings so how do you protect yourself from other people's feelings how do you wear a raincoat for that? No, you sh that's the wrong approach. <laughs> you are so strong. These feelings. This isn't. This is. If if we could express anything to Marie, it's not to be afraid of feelings. It, humans are so strong. Feelings. So many alien civilizations look up to the human graduate as something so. human graduate is a great teacher. The human graduate goes back to many different civilizations and teaches and shares the knowledge so that others don't have to experience this. Learning that feelings, like I said, are nothing but ants walking. I mean, it's why not feel feelings? What's wrong with fear and insecurity? Mm -hmm. That's these are these are part of these are not to be. You do not need a raincoat. Mm -hmm. You do not need protection from feelings. These are your feelings. You are you are so powerful. It's you should invite them actually. And what do we do when we feel other people's feelings? How do we discern whether it's theirs or ours? We have many people on meditation now because of that. Yeah, what you can learn through different modalities is that whether or not they're your feelings or other people's feelings, they literally feel like little itches that you can just ignore mm -hmm. or listen to. I think there's such a focus on feeling good. There's such a focus on 
um, there's such a fear of feelings and this is not this is not not what you've come here to do you've come here to experience the earth life cycle so that at the end feel at, at the last you know when you're when you're when you're to go back to your civilization or back to wherever or on to the next school mm-hmm. you you leave owning loving all feelings the totality of of feelings feelings are a powerful powerful it's like a sorcerer's wand it's like a um, you leave with powerful tools and owning the totality of the human feeling experience is part of it. It, it you've come here to feel all the feelings and other people's feelings in fact the empath feeling weak feeling disempowered is the opposite of what's really happening you have you have the gift of feeling other people's feelings because you're strong enough to feel them you're strong enough to help so in this circumstances of if you're out in a social gathering and you know that you're an empath and you feel fear you fear insecurity the empath can alchemically change that to love and to acceptance that is what the empath's alchemical powers are transformation transformation what about all these people around the world who are depressed and are taking drugs to make them happy why so much depression the depression is part of you know we come to many we come to earth many lifetimes because it is a difficult school and as i said at the end part of our path, one of the many one of the many tools we leave is mastery of it's not mastery over feelings it is acceptance of feelings it is it is mastery in the sense that you are not afraid to feel your feelings hmm. a lot of people that are taking antidepressants that are on drugs there's no judgment there you may need another life uh, you, you will need many lifetimes to come to to leave the earth to graduate the earth school if in one lifetime you needed to to take drugs to assist that is okay if you are on heroin and you end up dying that's okay there's no i think it's it is a, it is such a it is a very difficult school not everybody wants to come mm-hmm. and a lot of these uh, that are on antidepressants wants to want to leave and they don't want to come back yeah but that's part of learning too it's um you know with every breath that they are here they are here they are doing something very hard right now it's about lifting heavy weights and you do what anybody else does that's lifting heavy weights you can you get buff <laughs> you lift weights you work out you take each step you you might have a bad day but then you you get determined and you say tomorrow i'm going to notice something good and it may be something really small part of it is not knowing or not understanding how how to ride the bike mm-hmm. i mean it could be a lot easier if everybody had the manual so they're falling down a lot and they just want to quit a lot of it would be much easier if they learned how to learn the bike and it's not just about outside information it is mostly about listening to within you have all the information there it is the the within is as as what will be shown with the event approaching it's not i will not correlate it with the other 
talk of the event. I, I don't know. You know, I can only speak for this, for what I see approaching. Mm -hmm. People will will have another relationship to with them after this, after what approaches approaches. Um, within there is it's so it is greater. There is more space within than there is without. You know, we think of the universe, it's bigger within. Hmm. Wow. How can she cure her OCD? She's put in a lot of work in this area. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of her. Is the cannabis working? Or is it her state of mind and her focus? No. Her OCD is a physical symptom. Mm -hmm. Where is that coming from? You know, we all come with quirks in the body to learn from. She has learned through her OCD self-mastery. She has learned how to be aware of every single thought, how to decide if a thought has merit or if it doesn't. Just because a thought enters doesn't mean that one should react. Just learn this. That is a great lesson. That is a lesson of self-mastery. It was a disability that was given, that was hard. She got very complaining about things that that are hard. But she, um, hard, hard stuff is 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 a gift. And she has learned. She has learned a lot with the OCD. It is definitely a physical. It was a physical disability that she came in with, and it was oppressive and very Was, it, was very it caused by poisoning? Or did she come with this? There was something that contributed to it. Mm-hmm. Something perhaps in the water. Mm -hmm. Was it intentional? That's interesting. There was a poisoning. As many, uh, there are many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. there, there's been poisonings, there's been many ways of death. But there was. The water is definitely not tap water. The tap water is definitely not healthy. However, for some that don't, that are strong enough to control their beliefs and believe that the water is healthy, then it will not affect them. Mm -hmm. That is something important to remember. But there, it was there was an aggravation. But the but the OCD was definitely the aggravation was it's another complex it's difficult a lot of um, people have one issue is not just one issue there's not one answer it is a whole complex of different things coming to, converging together mm -hmm. and these are usually the sticky ones the ones that are is difficult to lift and. Marie has teased it out. So she has how it came. It was still a gift, however it came, and she has learned a type of self mastery that's very specific to the experience of what she had. There's different self masteries that can be learned in different ways. Hers was specific to this. Has she mastered this OCD? Does she need it anymore? No. Can we rewire her? Yes. All right. Could you tell her what you're using to rewire her? 
so that she doesn't have these thoughts constantly bombarding her mind. Color light are you using? It is a yellow gold light and it is streaming through in waves. Yellow golden light. Yeah. Mm hmm What does she feel from this? She's feeling these pulsating waves come through. Pulsating waves. Mm -hmm. It is done. Thank you very much. What about the cannabis? Is that okay? Now to give her joy? The cannabis, it's just up to her. Mm -hmm. There's no. There's no judgment in the heart, in the way. There's no judgment from the higher self with okay. the cannabis use. It uh -huh. has served her very. It has helped her in moments with her. It has definitely assisted in her brain. She does not need it anymore. She can use it if she wants. So she, it's not. It is no longer necessary as a medication. Okay. Good. Would you tell her why she perceives that something has been broken? Is that coming from her? The anger or the reaction to broken things. Mm -hmm. It is from her father. Her father. How has that infected her? Has it taken on a life of its own? is very sick. Mm -hmm. Can you speak louder so I can hear you? Her father is not well. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of darkness in her father. And this anger that was transmitted to her is how sometimes Darkness travels through families. Mm -hmm. Is how it lives sometimes. There's types of darknesses that live through families, through abuse and families. And her father is infected by this darkness. So has she been infected now? She, uh, she has not been infected. She's been mildly infected. It mm -hmm. is not, but it is there. Okay. Where is that anger residing? It is, it is along her back and mm -hmm. within her within her body, within her torso and chest. Is it that recurring pain in her middle back, or is that something else? That is part of a darkness, mm -hmm. yes. Does that darkness have a voice that we can speak yes. with? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to speak with it so we can release it? Yes. All right, thank you. So I'm going to bring my hand up and bring that energy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. You have a voice now. Yes. What may I call you today? Michael. Michael. Michael, how do, were you directed to this woman? I found her. Mm hmm. Tell me how you found her. She was young. Mm hmm. How old was she? She was a little girl. 
Why was she so vulnerable that you were able to attach to her, Michael? What was happening in her life at that time? Nothing in particular. Mm -hmm. So, Michael, tell me a little bit about yourself. Did you ever have a human form? Yes. Mm -hmm. How old were you? I was in my 40s. Mm -hmm. And what happened to your body, Michael? There's some kind of accident. What happened to you? It was just, my body was destroyed. In what? What kind of accident did you have? Mm, I don't remember too well. What has that accident caused you? I have a lot of hate. Mm hmm. What's causing that hate? I've always had hate. Mm -hmm. Did someone do something to you? Were you mistreated? Were you not respected? Mm, I've always had hate. Mm -hmm. So what kind of accident did you have? I want you to go back to that accident. Go back in time. Tell me what happened. There was... Some people choose to die and it happens in an accident. Mm-hmm. This car and maybe a train, something like that. Mm-hmm. So someone did something to your car? I died in some kind of mechanical gore. Mm-hmm. So, Michael, I want you to go ahead and look at that body. Tell me what it looked like. There's nothing left. Mm-hmm. What happened to it? It was just a machine and body parts. Body parts. So I would imagine, Michael, that that would make you feel miserable knowing that you lost the temple of your soul. I have a lot of hate, but I didn't really care. But I'm sure it's not making you feel any better knowing that your body was destroyed that way. I want you to play a game with me, Michael. I want you to go back in time and I want you to see that body and I want you to use all of your focus that you have and I want you to reconstruct that body make it go back in time and reconstruct that body to where it's completely whole yeah. how does that feel now to have that body complete I don't really feel much. Mm. So let's find out what's keeping you from feeling much. I want you to scan that body now. And let's find out what's in that body, what's attached to it, that's causing so much hate. What is that? There's a vein. Mm -hmm. There's somebody there. Mm -hmm. so but I've become that darkness. That's right. So let's connect with that darkness and let's find out why that darkness has attached to you. I'm going to count from one to three and let me speak with that darkness. One, two, and three. Good afternoon. Are you the darkness that is in Michael's body? Yeah. Why are you there? I am there to spread myself. To spread yourself. Tell me about yourself. What is your name?
What name may I call you? Call me A. A? Mm-hmm. A, did you have a body before? I am not of this world. Ah, okay. So, A, tell me where you're from. How did you get on this plane? There was a little leak. A little leak? Uh-huh. Is this in a portal? Something like that. Mm-hmm. A, did you get trapped on this earth? Uh, we are never trapped. Mm-hmm. But it seems to me that you're very angry, making Michael angry. I make humans angry, but I am not angry. Oh, I see. So this is something that you do for what purpose? What does that anger do for you? It is not anger to me, it is who I am. Uh-huh. And what do you do? What do you get from this anger? It's just who I am. Mm. Do you feed off of this anger? It is a co... We mingle. Mm -hmm. We coexist while I'm in there. We coexist. We co-create. I am like a... You have something similar on Earth. A creature that coexists with other creatures. Mm-hmm. Is this a parasite? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a parasite. Well, it seems to me, A, that you should be able to exist on your own. Mm hmm We can do that. Yeah, I have no attachment. Mm -hmm. to All right. Bodies that so, A, I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to bring in the Christ light and have you flooded with this Christ light. It is like a gazillion watts of bright light. Feel yourself being inundated with this very, very bright light. Feel it just going through your entire essence. Feel it just exploding in light, in love. Feel the power of that white light. That light is enough to light up the entire universe, and it is now you. How does it feel to be so bright? We have accepted the energy. Mm hmm So now, A, what would you like to do with this energy now that is so powerful? I do not want to be in this human. Mm -hmm. I do not like hum the human. Mm hmm Humans are so... They're not as enjoyable. No, they're not. So, A, where would you like to go to now? Would you like to go back to Source? Now that you have the same energy from it, you can transform yourself into anything you wish. We will try that. Thank you. So, I'm going to ask the angels of the white light to surround this magnificent being and escort them right back up to Source. And may the light of the universe always accompany you, eh? Thank you. Thank you. And now let me speak with Michael. Michael, how do you feel now that A has released from your body? I feel... I feel good. Mm-hmm. So, Michael, I'd like for you now to focus inside of your own 
body and look for that light and expand that light and feel yourself being filled with it and as you begin getting filled with it I'd like for you to begin detaching from Marie's body tell me where it's been that you've been attached to her in her back Mm -hmm. in her chest her genitals, mm-hmm. her neck, and her, that's it, her torso, mm-hmm. her whole torso, the part that impacted you in the accident. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and begin healing all of that in Marie and pulling out all of that energy that you've had in there, damaging her for so long. And I'd like to call in the angels of the white light. Surround you. They're going to escort you back home, Michael. What do they tell you before you leave? That I am loved. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell Marie before you leave? I'm sorry. Take a deep breath in. Marie, what would you like to tell Michael? Do you forgive him for that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, Michael, go ahead through the crown of her head and Archangel Michael is there to escort you right back home and tell me when you get there. Is there anybody there to greet you? My grandmother is there. Very, very good. May the light of the universe accompany you, Michael. Thank you very much. And I'd like now for Archangel Raphael to please flood her entire body with a beautiful light, that healing light from head to toe. Everywhere where Michael has been damaging her body. And when Archangel Raphael is done, let me speak with the higher self. Yes. Thank you very much. How do you see her body now? Very good. Is there anything that I should have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell her today? She is doing well. She perceives throughout her day, sometimes like when she was driving through here to get here, the city seemed like wrong or energetically low. Mm -hmm. she should know that she is this is this is why she's here not to do anything about it not to heal it but just to just to know that she is strong she's strong this is this is part of being here Mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a very dynamic it's very dynamic here there's you could travel within an hour and be in the most beautiful place you've ever been And within an hour, you could be in the most desolate, lowest vibration place you could ever be. And that exists all around the world, in every city, in every town. That is part of the projection of Earth. And she she should just, like I said before, just focus on the beauty that's around her. Wonderful. Do you have a message for anybody else? Not to be hard on, especially the healers and the light workers, not to be hard on themselves and to to be excited and to have your arms out and ready and because it's it's gonna get it's gonna get fun. It's, it's gonna get you're gonna get turned on. Everybody's gonna get Marie's gonna get it's gonna feel like you got turned on. Mm, wonderful. Do you have any advice for me today? You are doing so much. You are doing much more than you know. We would recommend that you also enjoy it. You have taken on a large load interacting with 
different people at the pace that you are. It's almost as if you, it's not almost as if you also feel the quickening and to enjoy it as well. It's work. It's work for everyone. It's hard work, but it's work. It should not be equated with suffering. It's why, it's why we are here. We are here to work. And like I said, you do not know the impact that you are having. But um, everyone will know the impact that they're having soon. That's great. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the help. Are we complete here today? Yes. Very good. Wow. That's all I can say. That was really intense. I know. Well, let me give you some shungai to hold here. Give you these. Thank so that's going to ground wow. you now. How do they feel? Much better. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this experience. How long do you feel you were on this journey? Maybe two hours. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> oh, I feel exhausted. <laughs> I feel really exhausted. Well, you were channeling quite a bit, huh? Yeah. What do you remember the most? I remember a lot of it. Mm -hmm. um, That entity was mm. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. That was kind of surprising. I didn't know. I'd seen videos of entities before, and I did not anticipate how visceral that experience is. Pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I felt like I was another person. I felt like it wasn't me. That was the only time I felt like... It, I wasn't myself. It mm -hmm. was pretty intense. Mm -hmm. And we went back, too. Yeah. We went back to Michael. Michael wasn't the one that was... Yeah. Michael was causing the Michael's, physical yeah. ailments of, of that crash. We had to put his body together first. And then we had to find out what was causing... Michael was trying to keep going. Let me take my, your mic. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was just... Yeah, but we know now why. Oh, yeah. And then afterwards... He felt so good, like like for the first time he didn't feel hate. It was it was that was actually really amazing how how much he felt and then the difference yeah. afterwards. Incredible. Huh? Yeah. It's, so are you gonna share this? Um, I think I'd like to see it first, <laughs> of course, because <laughs> um, I don't know. There's I, parts of it that you may want to take out. Yeah. I do feel like part of what I was saying to myself was saying to other people, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a message to the world. This was something. This was about the event that everybody's been talking yeah. about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and weirdly enough, it didn't, it didn't, I couldn't see it. Mm-hmm. I could, um... It was almost like a little, it was a little present. They didn't want to show you what it was. It, it was, was like, like, yeah, it was like I couldn't see, I, I couldn't see how it was going to play out. Yeah. I, I'm curious to see, like, I've been curious with yeah. your videos to see how it's going to play out. I couldn't see how it was, it was like as though I could not see it. Yeah. But I, I knew, I knew the energetic side of it, what was happening there. And I definitely saw the internal experience that mm -hmm. was going to happen and it was what i saw very clearly was that it was going to be a novel event that was going to be an interior experience like and it would and people that that um have experience being within this would wouldn't be so Mm -hmm. drastic. So dr drastic but because the other we, we experience the, all the outside time. all the time yeah but but we would experience this as going to be like a where before we would have like a light bulb turning on or like flashlights this is going to be like the sun <laughs> shining in and we were going to be like holy shit it's going to it's going to be so awesome I, I got the sense that it was it's going to be so right mm -hmm. it's going to be such a gift it's going to be so good excellent yeah 
It's going to be our inner sun, our solar sun within mm -hmm. we will experience that. It's kind of what I felt. Okay. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this is an amazing session. Yeah, I feel like I... Uh, I feel like I... Something definitely happened with it. it was so explain pretty. to everybody what you felt. Through the whole thing? Well, <laughs> I felt so many things. Um, if I remember correctly, the beginning was um, connecting to Gaia. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, even now, I, I want to cry. There was just yeah. something about that. that very that, emotional. Yeah, very emotional. Very mm -hmm. intense. Um, and then I think I talked about what possibly could be happening. Right. That was the that, that was the biggie. Yeah. That, that was the biggie. That one was like it's, that seemed to have been almost like telling the world, like be ready. This is what's ca coming. Yeah, and like I said before, like I couldn't see it was like I, I wasn't shown how it would play out physically. Mhm. Mm but there's something I, I mean <laughs> You know, what else is so amazing is the difference between me, Marie, now that I'm speaking, <laughs> and my higher self. Uh -huh. So I can only speak for what my higher self was saying and feeling and something so without how, a doubt. How does it feel to speak as your higher self? You know, it was, it was really... Um, I, was kind of I was kind of upset that he was so cavalier about like... It felt male? It definitely felt male. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, did you pick up on that? Well, or is that uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it seemed like that. Yeah, it was definitely male. And he was like, kind of like, oh yeah, she's fine with her problems. Like, what to me were are like big problems. <laughs> he was like, yeah, she doesn't need help with that. <laughs> like, she's good. Like, and were you, um, were you kind of like on the inside going like, yeah, oh, like, what? no, 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 I'm, that's why I'm here. Exactly. Right. Like, no, tell me what I need to do. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's not, that it's important. his drama. It's just her drama. And so I saw that very clearly that like, um, I was creating a lot of drama around something that mm -hmm. didn't need to have. So do you drama. feel that this has changed you in any way? I physically feel changed. Like I literally... I'm going to have problems walking out. It seems like uh, I feel totally changed. Also, the entity thing, like I said before, um, uh, Michael, he, um, he had so much hate, and I felt his hate for me, mm -hmm. and I realized I definitely had a voice that I had always felt hated me like a personality yes. voice and yes and I did a lot of work on self-love and stuff but and it turns out that it could have been Michael like I've worked yeah. on that voice so I don't hear it barely anymore so it's but not it's still there and also what a difference like I said from somebody that was so lost to somebody that was free Mm -hmm. I mean, it was dramatic. And also that the entity didn't, I got the clear sense he didn't want to be here anymore. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like he was feeding off of anything. He was done. Yeah, he was just being himself. Mm -hmm. The entity was just... How did it feel when he was uh, bombarded with the light? Oh my God, Alma. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like a nuclear reaction of love, Christ's love in him. And, yeah. you know, he, he didn't, he wasn't like spasming. I thought he would, in my mind, the Marie part thought, yeah. oh, he's going to like blow up. No. no, he was just like, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not like he, but he didn't think it felt good. It just, he just was like, oh, this is something it. new. He just accepted it. Yes. It was like. Yeah, I think he even <laughs> said, like, I accept this. And then yes. he moved on. He just left. It nice, was, huh? So now that you've had the ex experience, because you've been watching these videos all the time. I have. Now that you've had the experience, what's the difference between watching it and feeling it? Oh, it's it's unreal. Um, <laughs> I think for everybody, it's, diff it's going to be different. Yes. Uh -huh. And not to have expectations. Like mm -hmm. you said, I didn't mm -hmm. want to have expectations coming in. I did feel like, weirdly, when I contacted you, I think I wrote, um, I have a message to give. 
is mm -hmm. what I wrote when I initially contacted yeah. you. And I don't know why I said well, that you're because high yourself was yeah, because <laughs> the Marie uh -huh. doesn't really believe in this. Yes, like I said, I, yes. I have one foot definitely in reality, and then one foot in this material, and I see this as like kind of like fun, and and I have incorporated it into how I see the world, mm -hmm. but. Uh, I think if you're, like you said, if if you're doing it, it's because you're called to do yeah, it, yeah. and and it is truly transformational. So, what would you like to tell the folks about this? Should they do this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, as, especially, um, yeah. Now, I think um, this is the time, huh? This is the time. Gotta I think beat the bushes. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's about. I really got a sense of you know how I was complaining about how my life is standing still. Mm -hmm. It was because it, we're preparing for something, yeah. and I think this is can be a gift yeah. to yourself. Yeah, and that's why I seem to be doing more and more because there's a quickening for me too to get to as many people as possible. Yeah, I think as yeah. as many people that have their arms out, I saw that very clearly. Just like these beautiful people around the world with their arms out, it was that was beautiful seeing. All the people doing this, it's not just one person, it's, mm -hmm. it's, but one person matters. Yes. One person, it, it, all it takes is one person I saw too. It's, it was like I said, it was a, um, what are those things? A reaction? No, it was like a, um, it's that model of reality where one thing is part of a greater thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's all great. So if you want to have a session with me, <laughs> you can go to albaweinman.com. Uh, my sessions book way into the future, and uh, you can either do a session in Miami, but right now I'm spending most of my time traveling all over the world. And if you would like to sign up for my newsletter to find out when I'll be going to a city near you, just go to my out of town page and sign up there. Now, Marie, we are right now in Los Angeles, and... Uh, you had this opportunity to yeah and I took it I the minute that you sent me the email yeah. the minute that I put and I Fast. think it was almost gone yeah oh dad we should have put it out within minutes sometimes yeah. we book all of them so yeah. be fast and thanks for watching until the next time